Hello, second grade leaders and families. Today, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how best to navigate our website and the resources that you'll find there. We're going to start by typing in secondgradeilcs.com. When you do that, it'll bring you to our homepage. Um, there's two different ways to navigate this homepage. You can navigate using the tabs up at the top. And if you're on a computer like me, that's probably going to be the easiest way. And you can navigate it using the buttons down here at the bottom. If you're on a cell phone, the buttons will probably be, be the easiest way. I'm going to come up here to announcements. On this page, you're going to find general information that you might need. Right now, this is where all of our frequently asked questions are with um, links to different tutorials that are going to help you as we begin our virtual learning. We want to encourage each of you to spend um, some time on this page and make sure that you've gone through each of these questions carefully before we start our lessons on Tuesday. The next tab is the This Week tab. On this page, you're going to find kind of an overview of what your child will be working on for the week. Each of the assignments are going to be listed with all the needed resources in Google Classroom by day. But if you're someone that just kind of wants a quick sort of Cliff Notes version of what your kid's going to be working on, this is the best place to kind of find that sort of quick peek at what our learning goals are for the week. The next tab is our Links and Files tab. This tab has um, all of the websites we're going to be using along with your class codes. So if you've forgotten one of those or aren't sure, this is a great place to go to. And then at the bottom, we've actually attached all of the math pages that we'll be using from now to the end of the year. You do not have to print the math pages for any reason. Your child can just reference the ones in Google Classroom and work on their own piece of paper. However, if you have access to a printer and want to print these pages for your student, this is a little bit easier um, way to print them because they're kind of all condensed for the whole topic. So it's just an extra resource if you want to print. And then finally, we have our contact button. And this just lists our email address, but know that you can also contact us through ParentSquare or through Google Classroom. I hope this website is a useful resource for you during our virtual learning.